Greetings of peace in Jesus' name. Several years ago, I had been in the country of Nepal, and there was a group of four of us. We were traveling from Pokhara in the north to Bhutwa in the south, and we're traveling the, the famous Tansen Highway. The Tansen Highway is about 100, 100 miles of constant turning. There's not a straight stretch on the whole entire 100 miles as the road follows the edge, the ridge of the mountain up the valley into Pokhara or down into, into Bhutwa. So this particular day, we were traveling by motorcycle. We started in Pokhara, we're going to Bhutwa. There's a group of four of us and we started in the morning. But for the last several days, I had been experiencing some very intense uh, stomach problems. And so my stomach was in pain as, as we were tr driving down this road. I kept having to stop every couple miles to relieve some pressure. Only to get back on my motorcycle, drive a couple more, more miles, kilometers, and, and having to stop again because of the intense pain that was in my stomach. Well, this was going, taking us a long time to travel this road, longer than we thought. And we pulled into Tansen, it was getting late, it was getting dark, and we wanted to make it to Bhutwa, but it was already getting dark. Well, up until, up until we got to Tansen, I had some very intense stomach problems, got to Tansen, pulled up, and there was a, a motel, a hotel there, and, and I told the rest of the group, I said, guys, wait here, I'm going to go to that hotel, and I'm looking for an outhouse, and looking for a bathroom. So I quickly ran up the steps of the hotel and I knew there was a bathroom in the back of the hotel. So I went running to the back, running to the outhouse, and thankfully no one was in the outhouse. It was empty. So I opened the door, I went in there, and just to let you know that at this time I had a, uh, a Nokia smartphone. But I didn't keep the phone in my pocket because I was afraid I would break it, but I kept it on a case, a carrying case, a clip on my belt. Well, when I got to the bathroom, it, it, I, hey, the stomach problems, I, I, it was no question I had to use the bathroom. And, and as I went to drop my pants, the phone case slipped off my belt and went spiraling right down into the squat pot. Now, there was a problem because the person that had used the bathroom right before me also had stomach problems and did not clean up after himself. So my phone went, you know, plop, right into that mess. Well, I knew I needed my phone because we were going to Western Nepal to meet some new contacts and the contact information, their phone numbers, was all on that phone. I needed that phone. So in went my hand right after the phone went in there, bloop, went in there, pulled it out. This time it was all messy and all yucky and, well... I took my phone and set it off to the side, finished my business and went out the outhouse. The carrying case was all messed up. I took that off and threw it in the threw it away. And I had the phone and, and my phone right before this I'd cracked the screen and the uh, the juices had gone into the into the phone. And I realized I quickly turned off my phone. I didn't want to want, want the juices to make problems with the electrical problems. And I took my phone and I was really discouraged. My stomach hurt. I was having severe problems. And now my phone was giving me problems. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong on this trip. Not only that, we were delayed by time-wise. And there was a, a cyclone named Hood Hood, which was coming up the, uh, coming up the way into, into Nepal. And we wanted to get to western Nepal before this Hood Hood came because we knew it was going to bring several days of rain. Well, I knew we weren't going anywhere without my phone, so I went down quietly to the uh, to the group, the other three people that were outside. They were still sitting on their motorcycles waiting and wondering what happened to me. I said, I'm sorry, guys, but we're going to sleep here tonight. And the rest of the group said, what, 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 what happened? Uh, okay, sure, we will, we will do that. And so we got rooms, and we, we slept there and had some anti... Um, and some wet ones, antibacterial wipes, and I used that. I cleaned up my phone really good. And then at the hotel, I went and got a bag of rice, and I put that phone inside the bag of rice and closed it up, and my stomach was still giving me problems, and, and then went, went to bed. And we slept, and in the morning, we woke up, and, and I said, I'm going to try my phone. I'm going to see maybe the rice dried it out and the inside out enough that I could turn my phone on, enough that I could get that contact information to the place that we were going. So I prayed, and before I, and then after I was done praying, I went and I turned my phone on. And sure enough, it turned on. 
and you can see the, the, the cracked the cracked case wherever it was and you can see a streak across that but I quickly turned it on and I went into it and I got the phone number I got the contact information I copied it down on a piece of paper to the people that were trying to meet in Western Nepal quickly got all that information and as soon as I got that information my phone screen went bloop, it flickered out and it never went on after that for I'd lost my phone but we were still able to meet the contacts in Western Nepal. The unfortunate part was when well, we went to meet them because we were delayed, Hood Hood beat us there and we ended up getting the next three, four days, we ended up getting soaked in our, in our motorcycles with, our, with just our motorcycles. You know, I wish I could tell you I had some good moral lesson for this story, but I don't. You know, this story, it was, it, everything went wrong could and did and I wish I could say you know point to something and say well God made this happen because of this because of that because of this but I can't all I can say is I am still going to faithfully serve and follow the Lord even in the midst of some of these difficult times I don't know why we had to experience that or why I had to experience that stomach problems but God does and I'm going to continue to faithfully serve God Jesus, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, because He is my Lord. God bless. Have a great day.